I'm here with Chris Hipkins who is a Labour's tertiary education spokesperson um, and just wanting to chat a bit about tertiary education and about obviously something that's really important to those working in, in the institutions which is and what's Labour going to do um, when it's in government around making sure that our public tertiary education institutions are supported and making sure that taxpayer dollars go into you know providing the best quality public system that we can. Well look, we absolutely recognise the huge pressure that our public tertiary institutions are under at the moment. Our universities and our polytechs are struggling to make ends meet for a variety of different reasons. It's not one particular reason, there's a whole host of reasons including um, changes to the way funding is managed in the ITP sector for example. That's had a big in uh, impact on regional polytechnics. Um, there's been a, a freeze in the funding rates for a lot of programmes and that's had a big impact across the board, politics, universities and so on. So I think one of the biggest things that the Labour Party is committed to is actually taking that handbrake off. So we recognise that as costs go up, funding's got to go up as well. Otherwise, our institutions are going backwards and the quality of education they can provide to New Zealanders is going backwards. So by saying, yep, we're going to fund properly rising costs and increases in the population of the country, we can actually better support tertiary education, in fact all education and all public service provision. And, and the importance of, of it being public, I mean do you see some real need to keep defending those, you know, what are our community iwi and public providers? Absolutely, and I think if you look at the universities, we're very fortunate, we've got some great universities around the country, um, they are acting as critic and conscience of society, they are fulfilling their legal mandate around, you know, the nature of a university. If we look at the polytech and the institutes of technology sector, there's a real role in ensuring that there is educational provision spread throughout the country and a broad range of education provision. One of the problems with a, a pure free market model is it means that some areas would miss out completely, whereas our polytechs can actually ensure that there's a base level of provision wherever you live in the country. And that's where I think we've got to be a bit mindful of some of the recent moves to centralise more polytech provision because it means that in some areas they might not end up with a whole host of education provision that they should have. Obviously your role's taking you out to some of those regions and so you've seen the, the sort of work they do. Um, so in terms of how we plan for that, I mean what role do staff and communities play in helping Labour decide what that looks like in the communities? Is it important to get out there and talk to them? Absolutely, I mean, I've spent quite a bit of time chatting to university and, and polytech staff all over the country and Wananga staff. Yeah. I've had a chance to visit all of the different uh, types of providers including some private mm. establishments as well mm. and I think one of the things that I've got from that is there's actually a really important uh, job for government to make decisions and do planning in a collaborative manner because that's where you get buy-in, that's mm. how you get people sharing a vision mm. and it's how you actually bring the best out of the whole education system. I think if government tries to dictate from on high, that's where people end up feeling marginalised, they don't feel like they're included in that process mm -hmm. and you don't get the best out of them. So the free market doesn't work too well, we need that approach which has some collaboration around what we have in New Zealand. I mean the other part about access I guess, because I think both those things help with accessibility, you know, where these yeah. things happen, making sure we've got good sound public providers. The other part of the access, I guess, is what do students get this time round um, with a government going forward because we see our students really struggling to turn up, really struggling with poverty and deprivation, having to work too many hours in paid employment. So Labor has some clear direction, obviously, with students, but, you know, where do you see the, the best coming for students from, from a future Labor government? Well, you know, our vision, our long-term goal is to get back to the notion of free education in New Zealand because it's the way we ensure that there are no barriers to participation. Mm. Increasingly in the education system at all levels at the moment, um, somebody's income or their family's income, their parents' income, is dictating the types of educational opportunities they get. And that's not the New Zealand way. The whole idea of free education is it means that in an egalitarian country where we're all as good as one another, we all get a good shot at education. That's not going to happen if there are all these financial hurdles in the way. So over time, we want to get back to a fully free education system. That, that is the Labour Party's vision. That's, our, that's one of our uh, the values that we hold dear. So our first step towards that in tertiary education is ensuring that the first three years of somebody's post-school education is completely free of fees. Mm -hmm. And we'll also be increasing student support, so things like student loans and allowances, the living cost 
dimension, which also is critically important at the moment, we'll be addressing that as well. Uh, the three years free is a lifetime entitlement, so it's not something that people have to use immediately after they leave school. We've actually got to accept that, you know, in this modern world, a whole lot of people who are in the workforce right now are going to need to re-educate or retrain. They might have left school and gone and got a job 20 years ago and find that that job disappears and they, they need to go back and, and learn again. And that's great. And we should be financially supporting that and encouraging that. So that's why three years free, we haven't said it's only for school leavers, it's actually for adults too. You know, it's great to think about that lifelong learning and you're right it's a complex world we need you know a really sound response to that um, and I think in part you know we, we've talked a little bit about the critic and conscience but you know how important it is to make sure that students have an education that prepares them not just for work but for much more but that you can dip back in and out of as you need to and we're academics we're we're you know engineers and scientists and social scientists can actually play a role in terms of looking at the big problems. How important is that to a to a future Labour government? Because what we've seen from the national government, I guess, is a lot of ignoring of good advice out there from experts and from those who are doing scientific studies. So, you know, do you think it's an important role for the staff and students to play? Well, the pursuit of knowledge in and of itself is actually vitally important. And we should remember some of the world's greatest discoveries were made by accident by people who were exploring something else. That's how we got the telephone. You know, there are all sorts of examples of people who have been researching and exploring in one area and because they have just pursued knowledge and learning for the sake of it, they've ended up making these great discoveries. And that's a, a vitally important part of our education system, and we should celebrate that and recognise that. Uh, there are a heck of a lot of people out there right now today who are doing jobs and engaged in meaningful work that is in no way connected to the qualification that they may have left the education system with. And again, that's a very good thing because uh, what the education system does very well, I think, is it encourages people to learn, uh, to unlearn and to relearn. And that's what we're going to have to do increasingly in the 21st century. So education for the sake of education is a really important thing. And we shouldn't be too narrow in our thinking around the value of, of education or the value of research. Absolutely. Look, that's fabulous to hear. Um, you know, we are certainly looking forward to making sure that we, we keep the, the conversations going afterwards. Academic students, general staff in these institutions have a lot to offer. You know, obviously a future government, but the whole of New Zealand. So, you know, we look forward to the post-election conversations. Well, that's right. And I think it's important that we don't just talk about these things in an election year, yeah. that actually the, the dialogue and the conversation's got to be ongoing. You know, one of the things that I've done over the last five years as the Labour Party education spokesperson is get out and speak to everybody, whether it's in, in schools, early childhood centres, uh, tertiary institutions around the country, apprentices, uh, people engaged in on-job learning. And I think that it's important that we keep that going throughout the whole parliamentary term, not just in an election campaign. Fantastic. So we'll be getting out there encouraging members to vote to keep it public and make sure they get to the polls? Absolutely. Voting's open. People can get out there and vote right now. They don't have to wait until the day. And one of the things that's really important is if they're in doubt about whether their enrolment is up to date, yeah. vote early. Because if you vote early, you can enrol and vote at the same time and your vote will count. If you arrive at a polling booth on election day and your enrolment isn't up to date and you're not on the roll, it's too late at that point. So vote early and be sure that your vote counts. Excellent. Thank you very much Thank for you. your time. Yeah.